sparking dangerous storms. Those storms bringing hail, heavy winds, and triggering tornado warnings. And if you think you have hail damage, we have tips to avoid shady contractors. Plus, as the storms move out tonight, Storm Team 12 issuing a weather alert as another round is expected tomorrow. 12 News at 10 starts now. This is a Storm Team 12 weather alert. All right, welcome into 12 News at 10. Storm Team 12 tracking multiple warnings around the state tonight, finally pushing out, but we uh, just getting this in as one person confirmed dead in a tornado in Pottawatomie County tonight after a tornado touchdown there. Let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Ross Jansen tracking the latest warnings and where those storms are now, Ross. And Mike, fortunately, even though we did have tornado warnings in South Central Kansas, we never had a confirmed tornado, and it sounds like our damage is mostly trees kind of scattered over the area. We had some reports coming out of Tawanda, El Dorado. Sounds like there's some wind damage tonight down in Sedan, too. But most of the active weather is just south of the Kansas-Oklahoma state line. We did have some active weather near Sedan in Chautauqua County. Those storms have now pushed down toward Bartlesville, Oklahoma and over the last hour we continue to see how most of this stuff is basically moving on to the southeast. Meanwhile, south of our Kansas City tonight, scattered storms down toward Ponca City and Newkirk, Oklahoma continue to go southeast. We had baseball slice hail in Anthony earlier tonight. Those storms have since moved into northern Oklahoma from Medford back toward Alva, Oklahoma and notice what's happening over the last hour. There continues to be a slight southeasterly drift, but something that's catching our attention here. Notice how those storms are firing up and near Nearly stationary. Eventually, probably closer to the early morning hours tomorrow, we'll start to see that batch of active weather push back up into the Wichita area. So we're getting a temporary pause in the storms tonight. But if you look at our future track, most of it northern Oklahoma, notice what's happening by tomorrow morning. Now we're starting to bring some more active weather into Wichita. That's probably not going to be severe. So where does our weather alert come into play tomorrow? It's going to be from Dodge City to Wichita on south as we're anticipating more active weather, hail, high winds, a tornado or two as we get into Wednesday evening. When we come back in a few minutes, we'll have some rainfall reports and a storm summary of what we've seen so far tonight. It's coming up in your forecast later on. Ross, thank you. As I mentioned off the top, we're just getting this into the newsroom, seeing some of the video left behind after a tornado touchdown in Westmoreland. That's uh, North and east of Manhattan area up in Pottawatomie County. Uh, that tornado killing at least one person, and it did leave behind some pretty extensive damage. At least 22 houses are destroyed there. Power is out in that area. Authorities are implementing a curfew to keep people out of the damaged area. The tornado hurt at least three other people. And Highway 99 there is closed. Our sister station, WIBW, uh, following the latest up there in Pottawatomie County. All right, let's walk you around the state tonight. First, let's take a look at some video. This out of our mobile weather lab. Uh, one of our meteorologists, Rodney Price, was in it as Ross was here in studio. So we really got a good look at this storm. Uh, people in Sumner and Cali counties are uh, getting a scare there as a funnel did trigger a tornado warning there. Fortunately, that dissipated fairly quickly and never formed into a tornado there touching the ground. Today's storms leaving behind damage in Harvey County, looking at an irrigation system that's uh, damaged there from some of the winds that blew through, uh, the road closed there until that system is completely cleaned up. And hail has been a big story. A uh, lot of pictures and video of some of the hail. This from the Park City area, Chelsea sending this uh, in that area, Adena north of Halstead, showing some of the video there. Uh, doesn't look big enough there to cause much damage. Pedro sending in this from the also Park City area, 61st and Hillside. Uh, pushing quarter to golf ball size hail there. And then uh, Dina showing some of the hail there on her deck. Susan, once again, we go back up to 61st. This near Seneca showing some quarter size hail. And in Newton, also seeing uh, some fairly significant hail up there. Finally, uh, Kichai. Uh, we did get some reports of possibly up to ping pong ball size hail there in the Kichai area as hail becomes a pretty big story there. Just to show you the scope of some of the damage from today's storms, we do want to show you some video of Tawanda, uh, the, our team out there earlier today gathering some new video of some of the downed trees as the wind blew through there. Don't have a good uh, bead yet on just how much damage there, but again, this coming out of the Tawanda area.